Hi there, my name is Kathy Paisley, and I'm very excited to be presenting my book proposal to Hay House. Um, the name of my book is Soul Searching with a Smile. To tell you the truth, I wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot of soul searching in my life until I had turned about 40. And I was in, at that point, corporate life. I had a high pressured, high powered position. And quite honestly, I had no time in my life or you know, interest in my life and spiritual things. So uh, it turns out I was in LA on a business trip and I ended up having some extra time. I lived in Boston at that time and I had some extra time before my flight was taking off. A friend of mine had mentioned to me about the Bodhi uh, Tree Bookstore and I thought I'm kind of a closet bookworm. I'll go take a peek and, you know, see what's up. So I go to the bookstore, I start kind of, you know, wandering around and looking at all the books and I'm standing by a shelf and all of a sudden this book falls on my head. I kid you not, it actually fell on my head. And I lean down to look at the book and it happened to be Louise Hayes, You Can Heal Your Life. Well, I believe in divine intervention, I believe in God moments, and quite honestly, that was definitely one of them in my life because it virtually turned my life around. So um, I got on the plane and read the book cover to cover, uh, you know, just devoured the entire thing. And I found myself crying during parts of it because I just knew it rang so true. I knew that it was the truth. And from that standpoint and from that point on, uh, I actually focused my life around spiritual things. I took workshops, I went on retreats, I uh, you know, read everything that was available and just really uh, studied spirituality and I've been doing that ever since. Um, so uh, in terms of my book, I'd say that there are three things that make it kind of a unique and standout proposition. Um, basically, number one, it's not a regular book, it's a book of uh, compilation of essays. And they're really, if I do say so myself, kind of cool. Uh, they're short and succinct. They're very uplifting uh, and positive. They are spiritual messages intertwined uh, between the you know, insights that I have, and also they're very thought provoking. Uh, so it's kind of a unique way of expressing oneself, but it happens to suit my writing style and my purposes very well. Uh, I started doing these about three years ago, and what I do now is, um, write one each and every week and I send it electronically out to a readership I have of about 500 people. And the advantage of having had that happen is that I've been able to kind of hone my writing skills as well as my messages when I get feedback from my readers. So it's really been helpful for me to improve as I've gone along. This compilation of essays is not my whole array of essays, it's just a sampling but I think I picked out some of the better ones. Number two that's so unique about my book is that it's funny, it's humorous, and I don't think many other people use humor when it comes to a spiritual book. I have a very wry uh, sense of humor, um, a very chatty conversational style. I um, use a lot of personal stories from my own life, of my foibles, and I'm not afraid to share, uh, you know, things that other people wouldn't share. I'm very authentic that way, because I really don't feel like I've got anything to lose, and I feel if I can get people to relate to what I'm saying, that's one of my goals. So um, it, it's really my, my words appeal to both skeptics and long-term spiritual seekers. The third thing I would say is that uh, my work is very timely. You know, we're in a period of time when I think most people feel, feel kind of helpless and hopeless with the world situation. And my book is kind of uplifting and approaches the whole 
uh, topic of spirituality in kind of a light way. And the other thing is that it's easy to read and that you can pick your topics from the, uh, from the table of contents and you can read at your leisure whatever you want to read. You can skip things that don't interest you or you can just open it up and expect the universe to deliver you what you need to hear. Uh, so I'm very um, happy to be here. I uh, love my writing. I love my work. Um, I'd love to be published by Hay House. And uh, I have to say, the most important thing to me at this point in my life is to make a difference in people's life, lives, to change them, to expose them to new ideas. And I think I have the ability to change lives. So that's what I'm here for. Thank you.